recording to the cloud, I think. Here we go. So we are recording. And let me share the screen. And here we go. Share. OK, uh, welcome, everyone. Oops, I don't know who NJR is. Um, welcome to the January 19th iteration of the MicroProfile Live Hangout. Um, it, the, a link to the meeting minutes is in the chat. Please click on the link and add yourself to the list of contributors on the call. And it is everyone's shared responsibility to take notes during this call. Um, the recording uh, will be uploaded to the YouTube along with the chat. So just an FYI on that. Okay, so um, from an agenda perspective, and sorry, uh, does anyone know who NJR is? Because they're yeah. asking to come in. Yeah, I got them, Nathan Rell. Ah, okay, all right, thank you. All right, so um, <laughs> I apologize to everyone. I, I, I took some PTO, fell behind, and, and didn't get enough time, I think, to really prep the notes, but there's some big, some big ticket items that we kind of have to manage and deal with. So I, I, I stuck them in and we could figure out what order that we want to have these in, but some of the kind of big ticket items we have are, you know, component specifications and the release plans. So we need to begin nailing down what the component specs will have. Um, the micro profile platform spec, right? And what we want to do there. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second. We, a big, another big ticket thing um, is the compatibility brand. And, and I'm not sure if you've covered that at all in your call yesterday, um, Amelia. Um, and then the program plan, right? So I don't think I sent out the program plan community voice document. I think I might've had that. I wasn't sure what status, it, what, what state it was in. So those are kind of the big ticket items and I'm kind of trying to figure out what we want to tackle first. Um, John, can, let me inter interject because mine, um, the, the update on the wiki onboarding new members is super easy. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one. It's on their working group. And then we can focus because I think we should prioritize the plan, the program plan status so that Edwin can ship yep. it latest tomorrow to the community forum, right? So if you okay, click, yeah. yeah, if you click on the GitHub, I sent an, the announcement about 9 p.m. on Friday, PBT time. But click on the GitHub, and Sorry, I this email announcement. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the Git, just Git. So this is just the beginning. We will create the marketing onboarding for working groups, um, for working group members, and that is on my lap for this week. Um, but I want to make sure that. I repeat what it was stated in the forum. Please fork the microprofile working group repo and start some meet NPRs. If you are Oracle, if you are a Garden, if you are the Atlanta Jack, if you are anyone who is actively contributing, you don't have to be listed as a member, but if you are seeing how to help this community, submit and make this document better. This is the sort of truth that is linked to the microprofile working group page and the website under knowledge um, information, right? And we want to make sure that when you go through the steps, if you are one of the members, that this is correct or at least scalable. We do not want notes that copy paste the charter because the charter can change. So avoid those. We want to make sure that anything that states communication is core and public communication matters mm -hmm. there. And anything else, I mean, just say, when they're on the quotes, uh, submit, um, there are so many things happening that will be added in the marketing side. But this is just a draft that I made into Wiki and I pushed it. It has not been reviewed by anyone. So, and I want to make sure that I don't own the monopoly, that this mm -hmm. makes it so everyone can help. Okay. That's it. So does this address Dimitri's comment a couple of meetings ago about trying to onboard new committers and kind of bringing them up to speed. Is, is that part of what this is intended for? 
Yeah, it's, it has one of the parts. Go down into contributors. Okay, there, hold on. Um, above, above. Um, there, here, in this part, okay. where, uh, above the string committee, it says any organ, or any, there, committer status. And it tells you, we can even write in the part that says any organization can choose to gain access. There are two options. Either you use the one seat that you have because every, mark, every working group under the Eclipse Foundation is forced to add a layer where an organization can earn commits at once, open sign the agreement, or you assign people to, from your team to go through the process of the project and earn commits without any situations. In the case of Oracle, we have only one Oracle individual who gained a status, but he didn't do it through Oracle. He did it in his off time. So I was one of the people that voted for him and it is not okay to not, this is a question that I was going to send actually this week to the Microprofile Working Group. The question for the Eclipse Foundation is, how do we tackle when a organization that is a member of the Working Group needs to sign the employer consent agreement to allow that employee to work as an independent and continue contributing under an independent, as an independent for the project itself? because we are into that exact scenario. I have not spoken to the committer, but he earned it through his off time and never used Oracle Shield. And now if he's being forced or asked to give up that seat to replace someone else, that is a no. Either we find a way to work under the process itself to tackle these issues because I was involved. I was one of the voters and I'm not okay to say, yeah, someone else, this okay. is vote. Okay. Okay. To uh, but yeah. the question was a little bit different, right? So uh, one committer, uh, Oracle, Oracle developer, right? So he's got the committer, right? Okay. Does it really matter? Is it Oracle uh, or not Oracle? He is a committer from the micro profile perspective. And uh, he actually says that committer, his committer access has been reworked, right? So edged off for some reason. And uh, my question was, what's the reason? And uh, do we have any rules of like inactivity time when we automatically age off our computers mm. or something like that, right? Yeah. Uh, Dimitri. And, and, if, uh, if, and mm -hmm. this must be a part of, uh, it must be written somewhere because uh, people can ask questions like that. And, uh, you know, uh, we need to have a rule. Yeah, I have a, you know, a general statement is that, you know, this is the first time that I'm hearing that somebody was removed. Um, and I understand the legalities behind, uh, well, in this situation, I don't understand the legalities because I don't know what they are. Uh, but sometimes people are removed and, and it's because their employers won't sign this or that. And, and I get it. Um, the thing that I kind of wish would happen is that the community can become aware that somebody isn't allowed or unable to participate. I kind of would prefer to, to know about it so we can ask questions and understand ourselves. And so I, mean, could, could, I thought there was a sort of a general purge of the mailing list when we, when the, uh, um, when we became formally a working group. No, no. Was that, uh, of the committer, committer rights. Well, that 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 is if that's what happened, then 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 I get it. But but I'm only learning about this now. So is that is that what happened? Because I I know there was some time between when the working group was formed and when Oracle got the agreement signed. So uh, I assume that um, anybody any action that was taken was related to that. Yeah. yeah. But I also assumed that once the agreement was signed, those committee rights would, could be reestablished. But if this isn't something the committee knows about, then somebody should do some investigation. Yes. Um, okay. So Dimitri, thank you so much because maybe we didn't follow correctly in the forum thread. What I thought is that first, I assume you're tackling who will become the committer if you choose to on it now and you do have an employee. And I was thinking, how do we tackle him to be, to continue to be independent or maybe under the Oracle? And that's it. I, 
will he count as the one seat or how we will tackle that? But now that you have said that he has been removed, that is something that we didn't know. Some microprofilers contact me privately and say, hey, my access was revoked. And then we can tackle it directly with the Eclipse Foundation EMO. The thing we have not done ever is the document, document what is expected and who to contact. And now we need to bring this up into documentation. And I, I, I volunteer myself to write it out because I have been helping for years to make sure that no one is left out. What I understood is that when we created the microprofile working group, every committer that is employed under a potential new org will have to get their employment signed with the, the employer consent. And if that doesn't happen, then that committer will be historical committer. He, he either goes independent and no longer works for the employer or something like that, and he can return. But there is no case in the history of the Eclipse Foundation that I have seen where a committer is removed or banned for life because of not tracking documentation. The historical data is there and no one has been removed under the microprofile ecosystem, not once. Okay, uh, Amelia, it's, uh, it sounds good. Uh, let's just privately investigate this. Uh, we kind of uh, get in touch with him from our side and uh, uh, you check uh, uh, what's happened uh, on the sure. microphone side. And we, and we sync up, we sync up on that later, right? Yeah, let's do that. Totally. Thanks. I, I, All right, I appreciate it. I mean, I mean to the agenda as uh, Amelia will tackle in the working group, the discussion, and then Oracle will tackle with the committer who is awesome. Sure. Okay. Sorry, so, so we're I supposed am... to, you want us to take care of this from our end? You, right. you tackle with your committer and find out exactly what's what, because I do see him as historical. You're but then still on your mail, John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's a Google group. That's the. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK, good. And then I tackle the working group so make to make the discussion so that we know from the Eclipse EMO what's what and move on. Yeah, I, do we have anybody from the EMO? I don't know if we had Sharon today or not. We will not throw people under the bus without. Um, no, it was that was not that was not the that was not the intent. Uh, my my only request would have been in, in, in is you know if we could get a, get a heads up uh, when someone is shifted to like emeritus status, right? I the website have... is updated; it's public information, but it would but no one notices that, so it would just be great to to get like, you know, FYI, this person has been shifted to emeritus status and, you know. I will write a wiki in the, in the Google Drive and then send that document for uh, EMO re review. It's going to be very documented and then they can tell us what is correct and not and move forward. Don't worry, okay. by tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna try and shift off to the, um, to a topic that we talked about a lot at the steering committee meeting and that I think David brought up a little bit earlier is that we, we need to, to work on the program plan, right? You know, what are the target goals for this calendar year? And so I think, hold on, it's a different browser window. Like I said, uh, Zoom likes to redecorate your desktop once you share a screen. So um, here we go. So during the steering committee meeting, we worked on the 2021 microprofile program plan um, to try and community voices document, which is um, basically to try and figure out or plan, begin planning with feedback, what our goals are gonna be for 2021. So um, does somebody, let's see, it, it sounds like, um, you know, Dimitri has a comment about, um, you know, reordering questions. So, so there's some comments along the way that we haven't really addressed yet, but I would like to maybe publish this out after this call to get additional feedback. So I, I guess I, I, I don't know if someone in particular wants to kind of manage this discussion, maybe besides myself today. Um, so, so um, if we're talking about the steering committee call, and let me interject here again, I thought we agreed that Edwin will be the one leading the discussion and the level that he is the yep. committee rep, and it's much, much more okay. and honest. Oh, for the just fine. To follow this, Edwin, you agreed to this, right? 
I, I'm not sure, but <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. Not well, sure. He's yeah, getting I, 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 for, I, but, uh... Yeah, I, I, it was said that I would send out a mailing, an email to the main list when it was uh, going to publish. That was was that was what we what was being said, but I, I, of course, I'm managing the documents with you guys, so. Uh, you will not be alone. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So it's not my responsibility, uh, my sole responsibility, right? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's everybody's mm -hmm. responsibility. We should yeah. all be. All right. Free. So let me try and track this here. Um, so what we have is, you know, a collection of questions to get feedback from the community on, right? And um, you, you can see, you know, with, with the questions that we have listed, what can we do? I'm just going to go through them right now, just the questions maybe. Sure. And then we can come back and um, comment on them. So first the questions, what can we do to better teach micro profile? Uh, should we introduce training material, et cetera? Um, and in what area would you like to contribute, right? In this regard. Mm -hmm. um, another question, how can we improve the micro profile website? Um, how can we improve community involvement? Um, so for example, committer votes as input to the committer member, um, currently Edwin, um, for how to vote on various topics, right? Yes. Um, what kind of marketing activities do you wanna see from MicroProfile in 2021? Um, what kind of technical opportunities, features or specifications do you wish to see MicroProfile pursue? Um, are there any other critical things that you think should be included in the 2021 goals? Um, and then I, I think that's it. And some of these kind of got moved. Uh, yeah, we might want to clean this up. Into another document. You can just grab that and slap it down in something else. That we, a lot of those things were things we know we need to do anyway. So they're not necessarily questions, but they are part, but they maybe should be part of our plan. We should yeah, this is really important, right? We know before we, re we release microprofile.next, we really want to define what the micro profile platform spec is. Um, we know we need to get the certification uh, branding completed. So these aren't questions necessarily for community feedback. They're just right. things that need to be done. Right? Yeah, we'll just make sure to yank them from the document before we send it out. Yes, good point. What um, I'll tell you what, let me just yank it i'm not sure where to yank it yet but I'll, I'll i'll yank it into just a little personal note file and then we'll figure out where to push it sure. um or yeah you know, uh, or, or maybe we could stick it in the meeting list. minutes i don't know minutes works. that's fine too that's great okay so I'll, I'll i'll do that maybe after the call because i'm sharing my screen uh, i don't want to do that right now <laughs> um so we know there's things that, that that need to get done um and i actually think um they really are in a lot of ways priorities. So I would like to parallelize this so that while we're getting feedback from the community on um, additional things relating to the program plan, I would like us to work in parallel on these mandatory things. So the feedback for this document is due, um, basically the deadline is February 9th, right? So in parallel between now and then, I'd like to work on, you know, growing pains discussions and the branding and stuff like that. Okay, oh. but in terms of this doc. Um, John? Yes, oh, sorry, Kevin, go for it. Yeah, so the deadline for feedback or the deadline for completion? I thought the Eclipse Foundation wanted this done by the first week of February. No, 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 no. no? We, we, no, when Paul and, when Paul was here, he stated that it would be nice to have it done as soon as possible. But he didn't throw a deadline, he said Q1. And I actually said, let's get something that is not completed, but at least that provides enough feedback from the community so that we can decide, hey, we move forward. And by middle of February, I actually said middle, middle of February, I'm not sure. There is some community call happening. We'll still, yeah, we'll need a week at least to consolidate all this feedback into exactly. any kind of plan. So, yeah, be two weeks. Okay. Yes. So immediately after that, we have time to decompress and work it out so that for the next community call, we can tackle issues and formalize it, right? But we don't have a deadline and we didn't agree to that. So we have total flexibility to own it without rushing and doing something that is right. We have a full year ahead and I believe in not rushing. We can buy ourselves time, but we cannot wait. And I do agree with John. Once this is established, we will have to work you know, in parallel with different things and we can tackle it because we're not one 
person or multiple microprofilers that can do a staff, right? Together. Yeah, so uh, John, uh, did you, uh, did you, did, uh, are you proposing that we tidy up this document uh, right now with the questions and after the call, um, make it uh, ready for sending out to the community? Is that mm -hmm. what you uh, are trying to say? Then I can, uh, I can assist after the call, if you like. Yeah, before we send it off, um, everyone's got to use their full name. You can't use your first name. When, oh. we, when we put this out, uh, we do not want other people going Joe or another Dimitri. Okay. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's All like, right. So, so if, if you've got your feedback in this document, please uh, um, use your full name. Just go ahead and edit this document. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm fine with Dimitri. Wait to add feedback. Uh, I have not acted upon this last week, but can I still do that now? Or yeah, uh, until February 9th. Sure. February 9th. So, so you see, um, I think it's nice here in the deadline. Maybe I go in there and write it or someone, Edwin, you can write it up. Say, feedback is being welcomed by any microprofile until February 9th. After that, we will take the time to compile the information, mm -hmm. right, and, and decide. But actually, you have to say, use your full names, full name, not organizations. Don't back yourself and the feedback onto an organization. If you're not willing to do so independently. I don't think it, I don't think it matters, but uh, can, can you put the link in there, John? I, I looked in the meeting minutes and I didn't see. I'm sorry, the link to this document. This doc document. document. Okay, I'll yeah, let, 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 yeah let, let me put it in the chat. And uh, basically, you put brackets. Please don't use your own formatting. Be consistent. <laughs> so I did brackets. Yes. Okay, so. Be, uh, before we talk about the question specifically, um, you know, in, in, or providing the feedback to the questions during the call, there's a couple of questions outstanding, like are the questions in the right order, right? Yeah. So this is Dimitri's feedback. Um, and a couple of other things, I, I, I guess let's, let's address these, these existing comments. Um, if folks want to type in their feedback, you know, during the, during the call, that's okay. But I like to keep the conversation centered around maybe answering these things first. Um, so Dimitri, do you want to maybe expand on your point here? Um, my question is, shall we actually do it now? Uh, yeah. The document is actually designed to work offline. So there is a time to think and so on. If you want to do it now, it's okay, right? Yep. Okay, so uh, my first point is that uh, there are five questions in total, right? And uh, all of them are marketing related. And micro profile is uh, not only about marketing, it's actually technical uh, thing. We are, uh, our product is APIs, right? And uh, we have only one technical question. And this question is about uh, what do you want, uh, what user wants to see micro profile from a technical perspective. And I think actually this question must be first because uh, to make to at least make more accent on the technical aspect of micro profile. I'm fine with that, personally. I, I agree, thank you, Dimitri. Dimitri, you're yes. totally correct on this. First product. Otherwise, so sh should we take this and move this bullet to the top? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Um. The other thing is uh, when we move them, also order them. So it's like we say question one, what technical opportunities? Yeah, that was actually going to be my next comment. Can we, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it, it's good. I agree with you. I recommend that we don't number them right now, because if we do, we throw bias to those ones that have not been in this calls or listened to this, and they will be like, oh, they are prioritizing this. Let's do uh, that after February. Uh, and we do I this. Agree. Disagree. So this is. Yeah, this... I'm sorry, Emily. Go go for it. So. No. <laughs> I love yeah, our community. So basically, what I'm saying, this is a question. So we know which question to uh to refer to. The other thing is the kind of the this is important and uh, like uh, which this is uh, again this is kind of we are going to take action, not like uh, we're waiting for more people to, to see the ordering. Besides, uh, like uh, we want a community to supply information. We look at the content of what people say. 
this order, so we feel this is important. So that's kind of the way we put, uh, yeah, in the questionnaire. Okay, so you, you think that, and you and John think that projecting the importance directly in the document now is beneficial. Okay, let's do that. Let's well, go. I, I don't see it as, as a level of importance. I just see it as people talking about it. Well, with question one, X, Y, Z. With question two, right? It's just a reference number from my perspective. But yeah, I get it. You have to quote the yeah. entire question. Right, okay. bingo. Even better. So then let's move to budget because first goes product and then it goes budget. How do we spend the budget? We don't have a budget question. All these questions are basically around how we're going to do the year and then the budget feeds that. Right. So, uh, and, and, you know, uh, it is a budget no, is how do we spend the money? Not, we don't have that question necessarily. It uh, is there a little bit. I checked yesterday. Can we go down? I think it's, um, it was a link to budget and I, yeah, put the I think we there. should just link the link to the budget. Cause first of all, we haven't written one and that budget comes after people say what they want from us. Correct. <laughs> right? it's so, a, at least it is a so, trust. Right. So I, I think we should leave this link out. And uh, besides, we are collecting like uh, information about what the communities want us to do. And then we have the money. And then we can decide how to do it based yeah. on the budget. So they don't, they, don't, uh, they don't have relative information of how much money do you have, okay? So <laughs> we are That's asking funny. developers. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, I believe uh, I believe the budget question can be further pushed down. Um, uh, but but yeah, uh, I agree with Emily. Uh, it's something we don't want to sort of air about how much money or what how we spending money, etc. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, I do agree. Let's let's withdraw the link from here because it might be confusing as it has it does have the budget, um, and we do know the budget for the current partners right now. I just need to add it there, and it's public, which is great but let me remove it so it doesn't confuse and distract from the document. Really good call, Emily. And Chandra. Thank you. Um, I see an opportunity to improve question for uh, the phrasing because um, it's a little scattered. So if we could potentially say, because it says, how can we improve community involvement? That's very open and vague. The actual end of that question, how can we encourage particip participation in specs, marketing, et cetera? Um, I think that's the better, that's the more, more on target. So, um, so maybe the, the better phrasing is how can we improve community involvement in specifications, marketing, and, you know. Yes, I was going to uh, say that the same. So yeah, that would be it. So if we remove the first part, first uh, question in that paragraph, we should be good. Yeah, we just we join them together. So where is that? I'm in the wrong document again. <laughs> yeah, I hear something like this. Oop, oh, I'll, I'll undo. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Um, my recommendation also when I while we work on this is to make sure that there are no comments. We comments are useful. But we definitely want in the, the in the guidelines at the beginning of the document where it says send your data you know like what i wrote the quotes how to send it it needs to be write your name and then um use not suggested mode use your name and write it comments mean that we are policing it if you're not able to write it in the document you're not fully committed right comments require work we want to do that work after the february 9th not right now. That would be impossible for any microprofiler, the volunteers to own. Do we, do we, need, do we need this example thing here? Or does that confuse people? No. Don't yeah, I don't, we don't need it. I don't think we need it. And uh, David or John or whoever is editing document, uh, I think it would be nice to uh, mark my comments as uh, done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, uh, Dimitri, I, was, I wrote you in the chat. Can you- Is this the right one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. So for yeah. question five, uh, do we need a bracket budget at all there? No, we discussed no. we didn't need it. So let's go yeah. ahead and yank no. that. Move it. We do not. That would bring noise. Okay, so that, that's basically the end of the comments. 
So that that aspect is is right. The other thing is uh, you, you say your name, your an answer. Maybe it's say your full name. Oh yeah, these don't have to be here. I only put them there just to get the document started. Right. In our case, it deletes them. Yeah, we can delete them now. Yeah, to be consistent. Okay, so I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, I, I think we're almost done with this document. I don't know if I want to discuss the feedback on this document yet. Um, one would. one thing that I would really like to shift the agenda to is um, the component specs and getting a release plan put together um, for each of the component specs. So as we approach June, which is our next, you know, traditional allotted time frame, you know, what are we planning on releasing? Um, one thing I'm, uh, I'll also get done. I'm a little bit behind on, but I'm going to kind of work on a schedule, right? Assuming that we're going to be releasing something in June, what all has to happen for that to, you know, what needs to be in place for that to happen? So I've already mentioned some of them, right? Like the branding and, and stuff like that. But one of the things I would like to get um, everyone focused on is, um, you know, what are we going to do? You know, what plans do component specs have for releasing um, in June? And I guess also we're going to have to talk about the micro profile platform spec as well. Emerson right. is not here. John, Emerson is not here, but he brought up how technical discussions can yeah, happen. Here. Yeah, he's here. Oh, you're here. Perfect. Emerson, remember when you brought up a few weeks ago how to use the Git discussions? I believe mm -hmm. that we should right. test this on June release and start the work directly there. And instead of using, you, we can use the forum for the link, but then move it into either we use each specification repo to do that, or we use the main microprofile working group, which is my <clears throat> reference for having that discussion, and you just move forward. It is going to be easier to track when we talk about independent APIs, and also we can use a new feature and see if it works for us. What I do not want to see is how painful it has been for us in the past to acquire what every API has been doing. Kevin, John, you guys have done a fantastic job tackling that. Emily, Roberto have helped. Edwin have helped. But we need to scale. And we need to find something that works. Because what we have done in the past has made it so it's really challenging. And Edwin, you can, Emerson, you can be a part of the discussion. What do you think we should improve when we are talking about future releases? You know, that will make someone that doesn't join these calls and is not reading every email that goes into the forum to be effective on providing feedback? And the question is for the two of you. Well, I, I'll be honest. It, it sounds like it's a little bit of a shift away from what I'm really kind of trying to f at least focus on. Now, now feedback and involvement is, is really important. But I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to get to is we've been very late traditionally in how we deliver our specs, right? The forcing function has typically been the release date. So we cannot have a release until we have a formal release plan that everyone can see and we have to vote on it. So I want to get to the point where each of the component specs have, you know, um, put some thought into what they want to be in a June release and prepare for votes on that so that we can then, um, you know, proceed towards the June release, I guess. All right. Um, the Eclipse Foundation has a, uh, I mean, clear guidance on that. So basically, the each spec need to buy a, a release plan so they can like uh, create that plan and then easier to track the, the release plan. And then that's the kind of the, the procedure we need to use it anyway. And that plan is really like we haven't nailed that down anywhere yet. No, because, we have. You know, we. We're yeah, we need to nail it so, down. So the, the the spirit of it is just to give people some kind of heads up on what direction you think you might be going. That you don't have to be very very detailed about it. Um, 
that's the spirit, at least from my mind, you know. So like in JWT, for example, you know, we did a 2.0. Okay, well, what what's what's the heart of it? What what you know, what makes you feel confident you want to do a 2.0? So tell us about it, so we can understand. You know, you don't necessarily have to do only those things, or you don't even necessarily have to deliver those things. You can put out a progress review later on and say, yeah, that was a bad idea. We're not going to do it. But just some yeah, just a roadmap, right? So the draft. Yeah, rough, rough, you know, like finger in the wind, we're going that direction. So enough for people to know how to help. Right. So, to think about. Yeah. So the first thing I think uh, uh, we discussed uh, previously. So basically in our June release, we need to start to set some guidance, like a June release. Uh, uh, are we have we decided we want to like align with Jakarta E9? That's a kind of like a bigger feature. Like, uh, I think it's a kind of the different aspect we need to react differently. I think that needs to be settled pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Emily, that, that's exactly what I was going to be bringing up because that kind of provides the overarching direction of micro profile. And if we're not ready to sign up for Jakarta E9, then we have to look at, okay, the individual specs that might be wanting to feed into a June release. Because yeah. if we do Jakarta E9, it's going to affect everybody. Right. Exactly. Right. So this is a baseline, it's a guidance. We need to like uh, set it as soon as possible. Yeah. So and this is a good point. So now I understand um, what John got into this. With Kevin and Emily's explanation, I feel that the discussion on the future release for adopting more technologies needs to be put on hold. We only just started acquired um, Jakarta EE8. And there is something, it happens, it happened at the end of the year and we still do not have the feedback loop from the users of MicroProfile with those APIs. We need time to consider if this is what we are going to do as a technology. Clearly it's cool to support different technologies, but- I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. I am saying that we shouldn't push June to be a Jakarta EE9 release because that's was... the expectation that we understand how MP4 has affected our users. I, I understood that as simply an example of something that would be in a plan, but not as a proposal specifically. Correct. I mean, it is. Yeah, this is going to be, talk about, but this is going to be a very difficult discussion to have because I think yeah. there's varying perspectives. Because right, yeah. But one of the things that's really concerning is having two major releases back to back. I don't like breaking. That. Yeah, I do not. And like how that. is that going to impact our 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 users? Right, <laughs> right, and and our products to a degree as well, right? Obviously. Are we going to have this topic now, or, or are we still going to talk about what no, the should be? No, it, we, we, you're, good point, David. Um, we do need to, I, I guess, um, <laughs> we do need to work on um, component plans. And here, here's a question. Um, how much does the namespace space issue impact other features a spec might want to release? Badly. The adoption. So, so I think is um, because uh, most uh, stacks uh, rely on CDI. Uh, so the namespace change on CDI will affect uh, like uh, most of the stacks. Yeah. Not so, from a functional perspective. So my um, question is strictly functional. I think it's uh, not much, not much. It's no. just namespace change. I think that is, hold on a second, I think our biases here are hurtful to what we need to do. Either we decide that the next micro profile call will be only discussed on this. We can use media to push. This is the call that we're going to talk about X and move forward like we usually do. And then I recommend that we decide what we use one full hour in as many as possible and start a new thread in the forum to, to start a conversation. Because name change affects and everyone is scared. Most people are scared to see what is happening? Do they keep Jakarta E9? Do they move or do they move to a stream? So we need to consider all these options 
and we need to talk it. I don't think this call should be used for that. It's just nice to talk about it, but we should have a dedicated call just for that. I right. think that it would be very difficult to get everyone to stop talking about this topic. Yeah, <laughs> how, about, <laughs> how, how about we take offline? Basically, I will volunteer to start a thread to talk about uh, like a Jakarta e align, uh, alignment. Right. So it's a kind of what other people think. Um, uh, I think it's I good. Think, I think it's required because there's also no way we're going to finish it in 15 minutes. Yeah, right. Yeah. So before you launch that thread off, I, I would just like to th throw into the concept. Uh, it, so I would like to add to this topic that we are all shipping bytecode modified versions of the micro profile APIs in our Jakarta EE9 focused platforms. So we actually kind of already solved this somehow. You know what I'm saying? We, there is, that isn't, that is something we're already doing. Um, and so we should be aware of that. Uh, and it is possible for us to ship those bytecode modified versions of the APIs straight out of the micro profile project so that people could use whichever one they want. They could use the job X version, they could use the Jakarta version. It is something to consider. We don't have to approach this as an either or that's, problem. We can approach this as a both thing. Um, now there are still nuances even in that such as, okay, well then where's the source code? Is it Java X based or is it Jakarta based? That's a whole, you know, and that's another aspect of it. So I would just want to gently point out that we don't have to make this a one or the other problem when in fact, in practice, we all naturally just bytecode modified those libraries along with everything else. And uh, so it is solvable. So then yeah. do you want, to, David and Emily, do you, want to work on that draft because Emily, what we don't want to see on that thread is our personal bias to push for um, acquisition of the technology without David's input. No, so I don't think she needs my input. I think she's more than capable of writing her own thoughts. And if somebody else has different thoughts, they can follow up with their thoughts because that's how, that's how it works. That's how we do it. I'm, I'm not uh, uh, dictating anything. I, uh, yeah, basically, I just uh, start a conversation because right, exactly. it's kind of community input. So maybe yeah. some else have a different uh, opinions. We yeah. just want to gather things and then next meeting, we just uh, have more constructive feedback. Yeah, it should just exactly. keep all rolling. That's it. You know? yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's, okay. how, that's how the ball gets rolling and becomes perfect yeah. later. So, so here's here, here's the thing. Right now, we meet every other week. Um, we we kind of went back to our every, every other week schedule. So we have a lot to do between now and then. Part of it is the program, all the program plan stuff, right? Then there's this discussion. So um, we aren't, in my opinion, we're, we're not going to crack the nut if we. How do we, if we want to do this live face to face and we try to use live hangouts, I think there's just too much to do, not enough time. Yeah. So we, we either leave it to the community and do have a hash it all out in the community or we hold a one off off week meeting, right, to discuss this. Or we go weekly until we have our program plan finished. That yeah. And to, yeah. And in the meantime, we collect as much as, as much feedback as possible via the mailing list mm -hmm. as input for these meetings to, Get as fast as possible. That would be my rep, my preference, only because of the work that gets done um, with the documents, and we expect lots of feedback. And then if we don't consume it, in the oh, same yeah, but, I, but still, that's not the only thing, right? Uh, we also get uh, information and feedback on the Jakarta E nine move. That will be a lot of information to process as well. So from different uh, angles, we get information that shape the product plan because it's, it's several items that we need to tackle. So and the, the better we can do that all in parallel, um, the faster we are going to be. So then can we do a start in February, um, we continue to work offline and then we start in February, we do, what day is today? I do not know. We do 
every week. And we don't say community code, we just say uh, unblocking, microprofilers unblocking. Uh, just name it something different that says unblock. You will join this call if you are blocked. I don't personally care about the branding of the call. It can be called the same title. It's just, I think we probably need this call until we get our plan finished. Yeah. yeah and Chris, I think uh, from, uh, from now on, we should uh, concentrate on this uh, program plan. The other thing is uh, kind of the, we also, we put some questions out. Also, we have our own to do so that mandatory items to work on. I think is we have a lot of things to work on. Yeah. We are not okay. sitting, waiting for things, uh, more feedback or something like that. So what I can do is uh, go back into the calendar that I think I might have messed up and Amelia fixed um, uh, to fix, um, you know, have this, I guess, we could schedule this meeting, the live hangout weekly from now, just un until the end of February anyway, right? Um, so it'll be a separate calendar entry, but it'll just re repeat off weeks through the end of February, right? So it'll, it'll look like it's every week um, through the end of February, and then we can extend it if we need to. Does that sound okay? Sounds great, John. And if you don't want to change into unblocking, I just like the difference so we know what we were talking on when, if, when we look at it three years from now. It's so largely going to be the same topic week after week, so there's really no point in alternating the title. <laughs> yeah. So... I mean, so what I'm going to try and do is lay down a schedule. So, so this is a target, you know, for, for me before the next meeting, lay down a schedule of what I think it's going to take for us to, with some timelines to release a February, sorry, I'm sorry, um, a June release, right? And that, that's going to tell us how much time we have to actually do real work. And it's not going to be a lot, I don't think, um, you know. So, um, and then I would like to take what we learn from that and apply it to future releases, right? So, um, and we're gonna have to nail down discussion topics um, for maybe focus on different things for each meeting, maybe. I, you know, how do I say this? Somewhere we need to get real work done in, and in, on these calls, um, and we did today, right? We're like with the um, vision doc. And in some cases, we're just gonna need status updates, right? Um, this call in some ways I think should be a status update call and in some ways I think it should be a deeper discussion. I'm not sure kind of how we want to manage this call on a weekly basis, but I would like to figure out um, how we do it so we get real work done. We should probably yeah. prioritize the status stuff to clear that stuff out so we're all aware because what will be the point in us tackling new issues when we're not up to speed on some things that may have already been completed or are in the works or, you know what I mean? The more informed we are when we have the bigger discussions, the better. Exactly. I prepared a general. So, I, I have a question. Let me interject. Vince, you are here. How do you feel about this? You're a new member. Michael, Chandra, how do you feel about what we're talking? Because it means more time for you as a new member to invest on Michael Profile. Do you think they're they optional? Have... The calls yeah. are optional. They're not steering committee calls. Correct. Right. So... But how do you feel about this? Um... Well, I, I do tend to agree with what David is saying in that there is a, there is a focus on status and ensuring that we check box and check what whatever is complete is also a factor. But uh, learning as you go is important. And that's what um, I guess as long as you provide some leeway for us newbies to ask questions when we don't understand stuff, I think status should be the highest priority uh, on this call. That's me, uh, Mike, uh, Vince, up to you. What about Tatiana? Tatiana, you're here. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, well, it seems to me this might be reasonable, especially right now when we need to figure out all the details at the beginning of the year and uh, figure out the plans for the future. So, and later we can see whether we need to uh, invest more and more, or we can already uh, remake this decision. Vince, what about you? Um, I mean, I'm fine either way, to be honest. Then so, what about? Um, well, you know, I, I'm, you know, we're here for a reason, and you know, we <clears> want to <throat> do what it takes to, you know, move this forward and to market and all that. So. You know, I'm, I'm on board to help. 
Okay, because we've traditionally had a very loose agenda uh, mm -hmm. where people just updated the doc with stuff they wanted to talk mm -hmm. about. And now it's to the point, I think, where it's a combination of we're large enough um, and we have so much stuff to get done that that's not going to work going forward. Uh, quick proposal, if I may. Absolutely. Could we just block the first 15 or 20 minutes of every call to do a status yeah. first uh, without any discussion? And then we go into discussion mode. Uh, we can spend the remaining time doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely agree. I was going to, I was going to make that uh, same remark. We do that when so we here's have, a quick we, question for the we next used to call. Do a half an hour block. Uh, and then we would do it. We, we used to dedicate the first half an hour to, you know, technical topics and we'd leave the second half an hour open to more discussion oriented agendas and uh, something like that. We find whatever the spread is, if it's half an hour, half an hour or 15 and, and uh, 45 or I would even say 20, 10. 40, it's fine, doesn't matter. I would say so, 10. So, so here's status items, right? So I'm gonna kind of, before the next call, work on the agenda for the call. And when we talk about status, um, the status items that I can see are all the individual things that make up the program plan that we know about, right? Um, some of them will, will be, haven't done anything and, and, and that's okay because um, that's gonna happen. Some of them are gonna be around, um, I'm gonna keep harping on these release plans because it's the critical path. Um, it's a critical path. Um, so so I, quick interruption, John. Uh, Mike does something very well with the Garden State Jug where we have a spreadsheet of all our action items with dates and due dates and assignees assigned to them. So there isn't a need to go back and scrape from individual Google Docs to find out what needs to be carried forward. We just have a single running spreadsheet where we just look at items and we talk about the items that show up in red. Uh, the green ones are done. I'm just using color codes here, but mm -hmm. that's how we can immediately yep. summarize what is remaining as action items that we need to sort of provide a status update on today's call. Uh, I believe that's a good approach we should start using in micro profile as well. Yeah, that definitely saved a lot of time, uh, especially writing up the minutes because we meet roughly once a week. And, uh, you know, and, and the meeting minutes evolved as we went along too. It, it just the way we, you know, if I look back at the, from back to August <laughs> into now, it's completely different the way they're, the way they're being written. So, um, you know, whatever we need to do that we can experiment you know, with various with various things, but if we, if we evolve the way we, you know, run these meetings, that's, you know, it's a good experiment. All right, so I'll try and you know, provide the outline for the uh, a program plan in, in, in the spreadsheet. If, if you have a sample spreadsheet that you just want to paste in, if it's something that's public, um, you know, feel free to do that and maybe we could take a look at it and, and, and look at the format and maybe leverage the format if you think it's useful. Um, You're talking about our spreadsheet, uh, John? Yeah. Yes, yes, Mike. Oh, um, I can, can do that. Yeah, I can either okay. that or I can share my screen now. Uh, I I have uh, yeah, we're not going to have time for that, unfortunately. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, add this, you know, to the minutes. Um, there's probably going to be a decent number of emails I'll have to float out between now and the next meeting uh, to kind of, I guess, accelerate <laughs> movement forward if possible. And we can discuss those, and based on the outcomes of those, we can figure out how to fill out that program plan. Um, well, how to fill out the status spreadsheet. So, um, good idea, interesting idea. One last thing before we drop off. I, I apologize. I kind of ended the discussion a little bit early on the vision document. Who is going to send that vision document to the forum? Vision document. Edwin. Uh, Sorry, the uh, program plan. Edwin. Community voices. I Edwin. did have a Thank question. you. That's what I meant. Yeah, Edwin, you, you go ahead and do that. I think it would be good for you to. to yeah, also, um, Joel and I have polished it until a, a, a sendable state. Also I, did, I, I did tweak one of the questions again when we were talk, talking, and, and I let, left a comment there, and Edwin followed up. I just want to see if we can wrap that up. Uh, because we didn't get a lot of feedback on that, I just was also curious on are the things that we're actually doing really, really, that we're doing well that we should just keep doing or do more of uh, in terms of community involvement. So I don't know if we want that feedback. You know, like I like, that would give people an opportunity to say things that they like, 
you know, I like that I can join the meetings and feel that I'm participating and I don't, you know, I like this and I like that, do more of this, do more of that, you know. Anyway, I just was curious what people think about that. Yeah, that's a very good one. So if I just quickly can ask something back to the release plan, because I'm not sure if I understand, does this mean that we are now basically frozen on contribution to the specifications before we have release plans and no. abroad voting? No. no, all work moves forward. It's, it's just, we got, you know, like keep it, we just need to also, in addition to the work we're doing, mm -hmm. write something down, right? And okay, you know, thank like you. In, in past meetings, people would come to the meeting and say, yeah, we're, we're looking at doing a breaking change in metrics around blah, 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 blah. And that would like, we, that's the kind of thing we should write down. Mm -hmm. Work yeah, all, yeah. all work continues, but instead of just saying it in a meeting, we should actually write it down and make that a part of, part of some kind of plan eventually. But I have to, I, I have to reemphasize, it's hard to work on a plan you know, sorry, it, it's hard to work on the specs if we don't have a release plan that we've all reviewed and voted on because we actually have to vote on release plan as, yeah. as uh, the, the steering committee, right? Yeah, right. We don't want it to go like uh, the plan comes two weeks before the release. Yeah, that's it, you know, er, earlier is better <laughs> if we can. Yeah. So we're at the top of the hour. Um, so I'm going to do the best I can to kind of collate all these thoughts. The one, the um, Edwin's going to send this out. I have an AI to take these extra questions and just save them to the meeting minutes um, of the hangout, just so we don't lose these things. And um, then Edwin can, oops, I just lost my camera here. Um, and then Edwin can um, send out the email. So I'll, I'll do that right after the call. And, and I think I'm with sorry, that. Yeah, I'm sorry about this, but I, this is something I forgot to send off um, as an added, added item. In December, we asked the Eclipse Foundation EMO to make public the, the, the external drive that we managed with the help of the EMO. And we now have a community folder and everything has been, I have moved all the folders into the community. And I just need to follow up that thread and say, please make everything public so that is view access. There is nothing in my co-profile that is private. And I need yeah, to make sure yep. there are no issues here because if you have not followed the thread, I have seen no one else has participated, but if you have issues with transparency, that is a thread where you use to say, hey, maybe we need something private. Nothing in my profile is private. So is, are there any concerns before I send that message saying, make it all this, because we have a link into the new page, working group page, and all the links are going to restricted access. We need to fix that ASAP right now. No issues? Okay, let's end the call. <laughs> I, I don't, I, the only thing I would, might think about is if in the future we're actually spending money and we will have like receipts and things like that. I don't know if there's yeah. a... The receipts will stay, invoice, Eclipse has to invoice Michael Profile, the working group, legal invoices and other things. That is the only thing that is going to stay, that has not been created, but I will create, that it stays under the private folder. They're invoicing because when we have a service, we expect an invoice because we, as we have said that we will be transparent with even a hundred to ten dollars of what we spend the money. All right. You know, so that mm -hmm. yes, that will be private, but nothing right. else. Mm -hmm. It's cool because I need to send that up today. Karen is wait waiting for me, for us. Yeah, I haven't reviewed the thread, and I'll be honest, I don't know if I'll get to it today. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone needs more time, buy time. I am asking, can you check it out, please? So I'm interpreting that as a request for, what is the title of the thread that everyone should go review? I, I will add it to the minutes. I will okay. add it. Yep. And then I said, please check everyone this out. Everyone should go take a look at that because there's some proposed action on yep. there that is described in this, the, the, the thread. Right. Okay. And it, I'm going to do a hard stop. Uh, we're officially an hour, um, four minutes over the end, oh, top of the hour. But um, thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, we will see everyone in one week. I'll have to update the, the calendar. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks, everyone, for joining. And see you next week. See you next week. Okay. Year. Thanks, everybody. Okay, guys. Have Bye. a good one. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.